The Cache Visible Edges come with four different uh, methods for uh, caching or syncing the cache, that is. Manual, automatic with alert, automatic and disconnected. You'll find three, uh, the ones that you uh, use mostly. So automatic um, pretty much acts like dynamic views. Whenever you move from, um, move into a drawing model, the algorithm looks at the model, looks for a change state. If there's any changes, it will automatically update your drawing. The automatic with alert is a handy one. When you enter the drawing model, if it detects a change state, it will alert you with a dialogue um, that allows you to choose whether you update uh, or not, as the case may be. So it may be a case you don't want to update. Um, you don't. You just want to dive in and make some amendments to any drafting work that's in there and then move on. The manual one um, is also useful and may be uh, used uh, in a situation where you don't want to update your drawings until you're ready to produce, produce the final output. With the manual option, there is no alert. There is an icon in the lower right hand corner that indicates that, um, that you require a sync or an update, but um, doesn't give you a, a big button to alert you. And as I mentioned, this, this can be used um, if you want to continue to edit your model between drawing releases without updating your drawings. And you want to make that final update to the drawings at the end. Let's have a look at how that works. So let's have a look at uh, where we can change the sync cache method. So we'll open up the reference file dialog box. Um, and We'll observe a couple of things. So over here on this button bar here, we have where we change it from dynamic to cache. We can also change it dynamic to cache to automatic, automatic with alert, manual or disconnect. And depending on what is set, you'll see the alteration in the reference file dialog box under visible edges. So let's change this to automatic with alert. So again, under here, we can change it here to automatic with alert or automatic or manual or disconnect. So let's have a look at what happens if we change it to automatic with alert and or and to the manual method as well. So here we are in our model. So what we'll do is let's make a change to the model itself. So um, just zooming in here, what I might do is just make a, a very, very simple change of copying this beam uh, to that point there so very simple change and what we'll do then is we'll go back into our uh, drawing model and um, and see the effect of of what cached with alert does okay so what we get here is this message box so it's giving us alert an alert to allow us to understand that there has been a change. We've also got a big bubble that flew up down here, but has now disappeared. And that comes from this little icon uh, here in yellow. That's also another uh, visual clue. We also have this uh, alert here, updated information might, might be displayed. Now, if we were to hit yes, then the view or the change to the drawing will be automatically, will be updated. However, we may choose to hit no, and that no is very useful for things like if you know if we if we just want to dive straight into here and do some drafting or some uh, editing of the text or add some dimensions or something like that. You know, we, we may not want to waste the time on on the update, even though the update may only be seconds. It might be something we quickly want to to go in and out. So let's hit no and have a look um, where else we can find those visual clues. So in addition to uh, the, the alert, the yellow notification here and the notification in the message center, uh, our reference file dialog box will also say that the, the, the drawing is out of sync from the model and we'll get that by this, this pencil here, plus also a red text for the visible edge status. So we can either leave that and carry on working and doing what we need to do, or let's say we wanted to, to make that update. We do that up here. 
and here's a button called sync and we can hit this the sync button and that will then process the the change and re rerun the extraction you can see now that that beam we added up here is appearing in our drawing so the um next one we'll take a look at is the manual method um, of syncing a cache and what we see when we're set to that method now this method um, is very useful for those people who don't necessarily want to um, have any automation syncing between the model and the drawing so for example let's say you have your model and you've created you know, 50 drawings for a, a drawing release or a drawing issue um, you've issued those drawings and you want to maintain the state of those drawings until you release next however you may want to continue to edit the model this is the one you would use manual so let's have a look at the effect of that so we'll set our, our cache mode to to manual and just to double check that it's it's in play we'll have a look at our reference file dialog box and set the cache down set to manual so great let's go back to our 3d model and make a further change and then come back in here to see what the effect is okay so here we are in our, back in our 3d model so we'll go back to that beam that we copied earlier and we'll just make another copy of that beam and we'll go back to the drawing model and see what the effect is on the synchronization okay so we don't get the the yes no box that we got earlier however we get the the bubble fly out to let us know that there there is a, a change uh, and the drawing requires syncing we get our little yellow button down here which tells us the same thing we get our message in the message center here and in the reference file dialog box we we also get a pencil and a cache but you know what we 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 could choose just to crack on working or even it might be for printing out again what we released last issue um but however if we do want to synchronize uh that up again we just go up to our synchronize button and hit sync and and away we go and um we will now have those not just the extra beam but the the other one on top so to recap uh, what we went through there um we have our um different options for caching our drawings and with the manual version and the automatic with alert um we can take advantage of using the sync button whenever we we want to um update our drawings and in the reference file dialog box plus the other um, indicators on your in your interface you've got the pencil on the cache If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.